If you want to ensure that you have enough money for the things you need and for the things that are important to you, you need a smart money manager. This smart money manager is built out of four fundamental pillars, budgeting, capturing, tracking and saving. If you combine this with an excellent UI and a powerful solution like Notion, it becomes unbeatable. Stick around to see this in action. We focus on two things through most of our life. One is time and the other is money. Interestingly, acquiring money requires a little time from you. Time to create a robust budget, time to write down your expenses and time to analyze your information. A smart money manager does some of the heavy lifting for you. Do you know why people fail in this area? Some set unrealistic targets, feel budgeting is too complicated or not excited enough about it. That's why I designed a money manager that aims to make things far simpler for you. Even before you deep dive into the system, you can see at a glance whether you're on target or not. At the core of the smart money manager is good design. Good design shows people where to go if you need something. The whole design has been built around a tile-based system from the moment you start. I've used tiles to be color-coordinated with the type of transaction, the level in the hierarchy that you are in, combined with custom fonts. So, the system automatically keeps you neat and tidy, making things easier as you go along. The four pillars that I spoke of earlier are spread across the summary a data entry section and the dashboard. While creating a budget, we start off on the wrong foot. We just jot down our monthly expense headers and multiply that by 12. And we think that we have captured the entire budget. As we go along the year, items related to periodical payments, surprises from non-planned expenses hit us really hard. We don't plan for a contingency. Further, even though we have a great budget, we fail to understand our cash flows, creating even more stress. So the first thing I did was to think around all the expenses that go into a typical budget, their categories and the frequency in which they are incurred. Of course, the system provides you with extreme flexibility to add or to modify here. Then it prompts you by asking you the months in which you think that these are incurred. Armed with this information, the budget is automatically created by month, dividing your annual numbers by month, just like magic. When I created the individual tiles for income and expenses, I created income and expense templates for every conceivable type of income or expense and linked them up to the appropriate places to go within the Notion database so that you don't have to do any manual work. So half of the information is already filled up even before you start with the data entry. You will notice here that I ask you whether you have received the money or made the payment or have been reimbursed for your expenses when you see the relevant screen. Pending items are shown in a different screen in the dashboard. In the same way, I have set up three bank accounts and three credit cards so that you can just focus on the execution instead of set up in Notion. Notice here that the language that is used is designed to keep things really simple. Again, every entry has a template that you can add or view by clicking on the new button on the right hand side. In this view, you can review all the database linkages across budget, income, expense and savings. Notice that I didn't ask you to enter any information here. The calculation of savings is done automatically as a difference between income and expenses. You can define savings as an expense category as well and put away money consciously by configuring it accordingly. In that case, this savings will be a reflection of the excess over and above this. So you do all the work inside of data entry and the dashboard comes to you free. I will just stick to the highlights since otherwise we could be discussing these dashboards all day long. The pending view is a tiled view of pending income, pending expenses and pending reimbursements. If you drill down, you can just tick off from the summary view itself. Under savings, you can see the savings summary or the savings by month. 
In each of these views, I give you the option for drilling down in detail. In the budget versus actual, you can see the expense progress bar by month against the budget you have set by expense line. You can also see the actual variance and of course the monthly views. The income shows you the 12 month income view so that you can see your income trends. Similarly, the expense shows you the expense trends. The bank shows you a summary of your bank balances and of course the credit card summary. And finally, in the calendar, you can see the dates when your incomes are received or are due and the same with expenses so that you can clearly visualize cash flow mismatches. I have just scratched the surface in terms of introducing you to the Smart Money Manager. You will find countless views and templates buried within each of the databases. So to provide you with much more detail, I have introduced a getting started guide that ships along with the Smart Money Manager. I have provided a link in the description so that you guys can go straight to the website to order your copy. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like the video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.